Welcome back everyone to episode 4 of the Mod Sauce Mod Pack Modded Minecraft with your buddy Pillow. Hello, how are you all doing today? I'm doing just excellent, excellent, excellent. To start things off, I was going to show you this. This is very, very basic and very simple. I took a lava drum and I put it here. I stuck a transfer node liquids underneath it. And, uh, well that pretty much pulls the lava out and puts it into this pump thing, pipe tank, pump seared tank. So essentially this will just automatically fill up as I use it off of this drum. It won't last forever, but it will last until the drum is empty, which is a considerable amount. Now also, as you can see here, I have made up some more seared bricks between now and then. Between then and now, I mean. Yeah, that makes more sense. And I will be expanding this upward, probably not today. So I don't like this connecting to the the chest. It's not going to do anything. The chest can't hold liquids, but I'm just going to go like that and like that. Makes it all nice and covered up, and now it's like it's sitting on a little table. And I can easily just pop that off. Go fill up a new one and stick it. Oop, stick it back, and it's good. So that's that. Let's see, what have we got cooking up over here for you? I have cooking some basalt cobble into regular basalt. And that's this basalt versus that so I'm making this into this basically cobblestone into smooth stone because it's uh much better looking this way so that's going on over there over here I had mentioned at the end that we were going to get into something and I wasn't sure what it was uh, stone gold diamonds glass iron oh and as you can tell here blood so if you guessed it we're going to start some blood magic so I popped this chest here put all the stuff that I was going to need to start off with almost I forgot one crucial part which is a crafting table and yeah, I'm actually gonna get to a crafting station you can't start working anywhere unless you have something to start building on so I started a little bit not really a whole lot just wanted to get this started so here we have some doors just click those down and then this will be whoop, 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 a staircase down to here and eventually this will go back this away and all of our blood magic stuff will be under here because I think it'd be cool you know it's a secret door behind our secret door oh, Paul, let, me, let me show you properly here at my base. Ooh, cool. This is a nice little, you know, it's a very plain base. I like how you have this little stuff going on over here, and that's nice, and that's cool. And then, oh, what's this? Ooh, secret door? Oh, look at all this cool stuff behind the secret door. We can smelt stuff. We can do stuff. Wait, what's this? Another secret door? It's like a secret door on top of a secret door. It's a double secret door. Not to be confused with double secret probation. So that's my thought with that come down here gonna do all this and I just want to show you quickly how this goes so to make this oh crap all right to make this blood altar we'll do that after the first thing we're gonna make is a sacrificial knife because I actually have everything to make that boom sacrificial knife just a prick of the finger will suffice don't let that fool you it takes a lot so we have that and we got an achievement your first prick <laughs> And now we need to do something that I forgot to do twice now. Two cases where I needed a furnace and forgot to make one. So I'm just going to steal one. And we're going to use this one because I don't think I have any cobblestone. We have to get something going on to do that. But anyway, furnace. Uh, what is this? Stone, stone. I don't remember how to do it. I was close, I was close. Alright, so stone, 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 furnace, diamonds, gold ingot, gold ingot, blood altar. Click. Eventually we will need runes as well, blood rune, but to make the blood runes we need blank slates, which we don't have, and we need uh, blood orbs. So it goes through, there's a bunch of different blood orbs that we can choose from. We're going to start with the weak blood orb, which is just a basic tier 1 blood orb. And then we'll go to Apprentice, the Magicians, uh, where are the rest of the Blood Orbs? Arc, Mage, uh, hold on one sec, let's bring up the Blood Orbs. 
All right, weak apprentice, magicians, master, archmage, transcendent, and eldritch. Eldritch? Eldritch. So I've never seen these two before. I've seen the rest of them. Last time I played with Blood Magic, Master Blood Orb was the highest, but I know Archmage's Blood Orb has come out since then, but these two I know nothing about. So we're going to learn some new stuff. But the first thing we're going to do is place this. This is not where it's going to go. This is just for the sake of getting it started. So you use a sacrificial knife. It takes away one heart. It also puts some blood into this... Uh, blood altar. So we need to put a bit of blood in there. Careful, you can kill yourself doing this. And it brings your hunger down really fast. So it's not recommended excuse me it's not recommended to do this unless you have a good food source or in my case these ridiculous pants that just fill my hunger when I get half empty. So I can just sit here spamming all day and I don't have to worry about eating. However, we're not going to do that first. Well, we're going to do that a little bit. But you just take a stone in there, and you get this cool part of part park 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 it park particle particulates particulates. The cool particle effects, and boom, it made something. Uh, you need an empty hand to get this out. You just right click it, and I have a blank slate now. So the first thing we need to make is a, what's it called? It's a sigil. So the first thing we need to make is a sigil, uh, this one right here, a divination sigil, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glass, one blank slate, and you need to put the orb in the bottom. I didn't make the orb yet, but to make the orb, you just uh, prick your finger and you put a diamond in. Now, I don't think how much I put in there is enough, but we're going to hope it is because I'm going to go upstairs real quick and grab glass. And then we will go down and we're going to make that, what's it called? Uh, friggin' hoo-ha, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to bring it all down because we will need more, I'm sure. So, here we go, down the stairs. And it's still a diamond, but it's okay because we'll just prick a finger again, put some more blood in, and we will wait. And keep on waiting. And wait some more. Fun fact, my hunger doesn't seem to be going down. Oh, there it is. Boom, blood orb. Now we need to bind it to ourselves, which we cannot do. Oops. Which we cannot do without killing me right now because of the half heart I've left. It acts just like the sacrificial knife except it puts it right into your blood network. Or the first time you use it, it just binds it to you. So I'm going to do some jumping on a wall here. Get my haunches down so that my legs will kick in and fill me back up. And my heart will go back up and then I'll bind it and I'll be back up. Oh, there we go. So, that's wicked cheaty, though. Let's take a quick look. I don't think it takes durability when that happens. I think it only takes durability when I actually get hit. But anyway, weak blood orb. Alright, now it is current owner, Realtic, bound to me. So, we'll come into here. We'll put that there. Up and around. Boom, divination sigil. Now, this does not use the weak blood orb. Don't think that I'm going to be out of a diamond now, because... Thankfully, it's, that doesn't do that. So now if you right-click on this, you can see current essence 200 LP. LP is life points. And oh, you can't see it from there or from there. If you see in the top left corner as well, there is a little, what's it called, a little gauge type. Looks like a tank kind of filler thing. It only shows up with the div divination sigil. And that's just a little visual representation, so you don't have to right-click and see it. So now if I come over here and I put some more blood in there, and I stick the blood orb on, you can see it's going up. And if I do this, just hold it, you can see it goes up. So that takes all the blood that I have, and it sucks it into that orb. Eventually we'll need it. For now, it's not that important. We need the blood for other things. So I'll just let this do however much it has in it now, and then we'll worry about that afterwards. 
But now that we have that, and now that we have, where do I go? Uh, this. The next step is to go and build the runes. We need different types of runes. We're going to make blood runes first, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Rune of self-sacrifice. We'll just go through the runes real quick. But Rune of self-sacrifice. This rune, when I use my sacrificial knife, will put more LP in than usual. Usually I think it puts 200 in. And this increases it by some percentage. I don't know what the percentage is. But I know it does it by some percentage. Next we have the rune of sacrifice. Which is pretty much the exact same thing. Except later on we'll be killing mobs to do it instead. And that will increase their, their LP input. Okay, next uh, speed rune. This increases the speed at which things, what's it called, transmute? I'm not quite sure what the actual word they use for it is, but basically when I put that diamond in and it converted it into this, a speed rune will increase the speed that it does that. It'll increase the speed that this piece of stone will turn into a stone slate. So they're pretty useful. I like to, usually I like to do a combination of sacrifice runes and speed runes. Just because, well, that's the combination I do. I don't use, once I start killing mobs, I won't be using self-sacrifice rune uh, ever. Because I'll never use this again, pretty much. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. So, I brought up the wiki here. Rune of self-sacrifice increases LP gain from sacrificing own health by 10%. So, for every one of these, we gain an extra 10 LP. 10%, 20 LP, my bad. So we get 220 instead of 200. If I get two of them, we'll get 240, etc., etc. The Rune of Sacrifice does the same thing, 10% by sacrificing mobs. And we're going to be killing a lot of mobs later using the, what's it called, the Well of Suffering ritual, but that won't be for quite a while. But when we do that, this will make a huge difference then because that sucks it out per tick, and this counts towards that. Next we have Efficiency Rune, which I skipped over before, which is not on the wiki. It's not on the wiki. Alright, I have no clue what this does, because it's not on the Feed the Beast Blood Altar wiki. So I don't know what that's from. This must be newer than that. Speed Rune increases the transmutation speed by 20%. So that's the conversion of other stuff into new stuff. Rune of Acceleration is also not in this wiki. Superior Capacity increases capacity by 10% LP. Now, I don't know if that is... Hmm. I don't know if that means my, um, my network or my altar. Because I know there are two different things I can make. Like this altar can hold 10,000. And I think with the weak blood orb, this one that I have here, does it say? It doesn't say. I, I think the weak blood orb can hold some. But I don't know how much it can hold. So I don't know if that 10% or what is that 10%? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, increase capacity by 10% LP. I don't know if that is 10% on the Blood Orb, my network, or if it's on this guy. Rune of the Orb increases the amount of... Oh, okay, okay. So the Rune of Superior Capacity is 10% increased capacity on the Blood Altar. The Rune of Augmented Capacity increases the capacity by 2,000 LP on the Blood Altar. And the rune of the orb increases my soul network by 2%. Okay, yeah, so this increases my soul network, and these two increase the, uh, the blood altar. And then the last one is the rune of dislocation, which increases the speed at which liquid life essence excuse me, can be transferred by 20%. And that basically means piping. If I want to pipe blood out of this and into a barrel or into a floor, 
that will increase the speed that I can do that, which is actually pretty useful later on when we start transferring and doing stuff like that. But that's that for now. I think I'm going to cook up a bunch of these into the, what are they called? Stone. Stone blank slates, that's what they are. So we're going to make, I'm going to make a bunch of blank slates. I'm going to make another 64, 64, 59. I seem to be missing. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make this many more. So three stacks and 59 more of those blank slates. And then I will be back. Okay. Here we are again. Or still, I suppose, for me. And what I did here, I don't like that at all. It's done goofed on this room. I'll have to fix it later. But basically, I just dug this out a bit while I was waiting for these to convert after pumping it full of my blood. And I made three stacks. And I kept the fourth one out because I remembered I need stone to make these things. So over here in this crafting table, we have eight ready to be made because we need eight to go to the next level of blood altar. So I just popped eight of those out in case you didn't see it. This is the recipe. Three stone on the bottom, three stone on the top. Blank slate here, blank slate there, and your blood orb in the middle. And that will create the, uh, the blood rune. So now that we have eight blood runes, we're going to just go around and place them here. These blood runes don't do anything because to make the ones I want to make, uh, I want to make rune of sacrifice and speed runes. Rune of sacrifice, we need the tier two slates, which we can't make without having a tier two altar, which we can make using a blood rune. I could have made some speed runes, but I have no sugar and I don't have a farm yet. I didn't feel like going out and doing that right now. So for now, we're just going to use regular runes just to get this to a tier 2. And then that's going to be it for the episode. And then next... Uh, actually, for real quick, if I right-click this, you can see in the bottom left corner. Uh, you probably can't see very well. Hold on. Uh, all right. There you go. Bottom left-hand corner, it says, Alters current essence, 0 LP. Alters current tier 1, ca capacity, 10,000 LP. So by adding these around it, this is a way you can always tell if it worked. Like it looks right, right? It looks fine, but you can't actually tell until you right-click it. And then it says, Alters Current Essence is 0 LP, Alters Current Tier 2. So now that I have a Tier 2 altar, I can take my sacrificial knife, just take a little prick. And we'll do that, and we'll check it. We have 1720, 17, okay. This is something that I found was weird when I did this before, but if you look at, hold on one sec, let me finish, uh, alright, if you look at this, you can see it's been going down, you know, it was 15, 15, 15, 14, 80, 14, 80, you know, all this up, it started out up at 16, 20 or higher, so it's slowly draining with nothing in there. And I didn't understand why, the first time I saw this, I thought it was glitched, or I thought that they, that, um, who was a way of time, the mod maker. I thought he altered it so that it slowly drained. But it turns out that there's actually an internal buffer and it will hit it eventually and stop. Okay, it stopped. So now this blood altar will not drain anymore now that it filled up its its buffer, which I guess not quite sure. I guess it's kinda like it's its own sac sacrifice. So we have 1,200 in there now, and we need to make a, this tier two reinforced. Ooh, all right, tier two reinforced. How much does this need? Look at that, 30,000 uh, LP to go from a demonic slate to an ethereal slate. That's ridiculous, considering this only holds 10,000. That's flabbergasting. 15,000, 5,000. Um. Well, that's wrong. <laughs> All right, but this is what we need. We need the reinforced, which is a blank slate, 2,000 LP with a tier two altar. We have a tier two altar. We have 1,200 LP, which is not not quite enough. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna run, sprint and jump around, so our leg plates will kick in. 
Let's see, do I have anything? Uh, stone, steel, grid. Oh, something else that happened that I will show you is... Uh, you might have noticed stoner here is now silky. When I was clearing this out, it leveled up, and I went and made a silky jewel, which is this right here. An emerald surrounded by four silky cloth. Silky cloth is a... An, it's a gold nugget. There we go, gold nugget surrounded by string. So it's very easy to make. It only requires, what, 32 string? 32 string and four pieces of gold nugget, or four gold nuggets, which is just half of a gold bar. And then you just add that there, and it's silky smooth. So that is nicely. That is nicely. That is done. It's nice. Makes things very useful. And I also want to take a look at my pants. All right. There are two numbers on the pants. There's the 103 out of 210 and the 107 out of 210. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to see if either of those went down. So it was 103 out of 210 and 107. Because I'm really curious to know if when I eat... All right, it fed up, and I hit the wrong button. All right, now it's 104 of 210 and 106 of 210. Okay, so I can see that those are backwards of each other. Uh, they're the inverse. When you add them together, it makes 210. And since one went up and one went down by one, I'm assuming when it does that, it costs one durability. And the durability number, that 106, is how many I have left. And then that 104 is how many I've used. Okay, I can deal with that. So that means I have 106 uses left. And I don't know if I can repair these. Because... I tried with an anvil, and nothing worked. But that's good to know. That's good to know. I've got about half left. And, um... Okay, so let's see. I have, what did I say, 1,200 in here? Yep, 1,200. So we'll go, uh... What's that? Uh, 2, 4, 6. And that should be 2,000. Uh, 2... 4, 6... Oop, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. <laughs> there we go. Pardon my bad math. And we will stick one of these in here. Bloop. And it's going to do its thing with all the particle effects and fanciness and the super fine, awesome stuff. And then when it's done, it will stop and it'll go pwee. Minus the sound effect. <laughs> and there we go. It popped, used just all of it right there, and now we have a reinforced slate, which has a plethora of uses. We can make stone braces for future stuff. We can make obsidian braces. This is all wicked late game stuff. We can make the next level slate. We can use this to make a void sigil, which makes you not take void damage. And interesting enough, that means if you fall into the void with this sigil, well, you'll just fall forever. Pretty much. You'll have to throw the sigil away, and then you can, um, then you can finally die. <laughs> but this is useful if you have creative flight, or any form of flight, really, and you are trying to get down below the void to build something. Like, if you want to build it on zero, build a floor on zero, that way, well, you're at the very bottom. You can do that with this because you won't have to worry about dying as soon as you get too low. You can make an air sigil, and this just kind of whooshes you forward, which is cool. But this is what I wanted to make, the Rune of Sacrifice. We'll make some of those later. And we'll also make a sigil of the Fast Miner. It adds haste something, maybe haste haste 3, I think. Makes it, makes it mine really fast. Self-sacrifice we looked at. Ritual Stones. I didn't know we could make those this soon, but it doesn't matter because I need a tier 4 ritual, I believe. At least a tier 3, I know, to do the Well of Suffering. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, tier 4 to make the Well of Suffering. So we will do that in the future, but not yet. That requires obsidian, which I would have to set up some sort of farm for that. And a lot of reinforced slates. So this will this will happen. It'll just take time. And Sigil of the Green Grove. It is essentially a bone meal forever. You just you trade blood point or life points for for bone meal. I don't know what this enchantment is. Maybe you can enchant it with slow fall. It's kind of weird. And that's it. So 
this is going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to show this. We will eventually make this better and make it look nicer. But for now, uh, well, for now it's fine. Let's close that. For now, we just kind of hop down here. And we'll do that. But man, I really screwed this up, didn't I? We're going to have to make some fancy stairs out of... Um, actually, let's take a quick look now. Take some out some basalt. Take out our tools. Do we have an iron saw? We do. We'll break that. And then we'll do this and that. And it didn't break it, which surprises me. Do I have a regular pick? Yep, regular pick. Alright, so we have this pick. So we're going to go break, break, break. And we're going to break that, that, that. Okay, so now we need to go here, here, and here, and then there, there, there. And here, here, here. But we also... Mm -hmm. I'll bring us here. Maybe we'll make this one farther out. Yeah. I think that's really the only way to make this work. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make this one farther out. And as you can see, it's going to be a pain. And of course, it's close to the edge, so we're going to have to rebuild part of the mountain around it. But I'll do that between now and next episode. So, again, we did this blood altar setup. We have it here. We're going to build it down. I know the blood altar is really big and people usually build it up, but I want to come in and have it just be the room here. Eventually, this whole floor will be made out of the quite clear glass. So you'll be walking on glass, and underneath it, you'll see the blood altar. And then around the around the blood altar on the bottom, like around the bottom tier of it, I want to do uh, open blocks tanks and pipe blood into it. I think that would look really, really cool if we have a blood altar surrounded by tanks full of blood. So that's the plan for the future. But that'll all be later. So I hope you all had a great time hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up down there. Come back next week for another video. And I will see you later. Oop, hold on. Bye.